Hi everybody, welcome to part two of Swimmy the Fish. We are going to be creating a monoprint. A monoprint means one single print. We're gonna be putting, instead of on a piece of glass like most professional artists will do, we're gonna use the back of an old school tray. Looks like this, it's nice and smooth. So we can lay our paint onto the tray and it will transfer nicely onto our paper. Now we're gonna take the beautiful background that we created last week and we're gonna be adding water to our background using mono printing. This is the same exact technique that Leo Leone used in his book, Swimming. So what we're gonna do, we have three different shades of color here. We have a light blue, I have a dark blue, and in between I have a magenta. Uh, this will give us a nice mix of color when it comes to our water. So all you have to do is start with your light blue. You could do something as simple as zigzags across your tray. You could also put blots across your tray. You could even do straight lines if you wanted to across your tray. Whatever you do to the tray will get transferred onto your paper later. It may not look the same. It may look mixed. It's going to have different things happening with it. So. Now I'm gonna move on to my next color, magenta. I don't wanna mix the colors together. I don't wanna swish across my blue and wreck my blue wave there, but I am going to put magenta in places that the light blue does not touch because later on, as I said, it will mix. All right, I'm ready for my final color. My final color is the dark blue. And I'm gonna put that dark blue in different places. Try not to mix it too much with the other colors because it will take over the other colors if I'm not careful. And that looks pretty good. So the next step is going to be to take my swimmy background, looks like this. I'm going to place it upside down. So with the, the ocean side down. And I'm going to place it on my tray like this. And I'm going to play piano. I know that sounds funny, but by doing that, you actually create bubbles in the water. All right, the next step would be to wait for Mrs. Perna, that would be me. I'm gonna come along, and since I'm wearing gloves, I can smooth out and let the extra paint squeeze out the sides. I don't want you to do that because I don't want you to get covered in paint. I don't mind getting a little paint onto my gloves. Plus, I'm wearing my apron today, so I can wipe that up. Here comes the fun part, and that is the reveal. I'm going to pull up, and when I pull up, you can see that it will create a beautiful ocean background of water, and it will mix in colors, and when this dries, it will be absolutely beautiful and ready to fill it, finish our illustration, which will be next week. Next week, we'll be putting our Swimmy and his family into the picture. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, monoprinting can be fun. Have a great day.